Hey, so I hear you're in need of a healing. Don't worry, the Lord's here to help, and so am I. Apparently with some help of my own. So I'm giving you the top 10 Bible verses on healing. Let's get to the show. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Blessing Report with our Meat Not Milk podcast and our segment Bible study. So we're covering 10 verses about healing in the Bible. So we're going to start with number 10 coming from 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his own body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed so this is just um reaffirming the finished work of jesus christ on the cross and his resurrection um limiting and ending the dominion of sin the devil demons over our mortal bodies in the spiritual realm because of the resurrection power cleansing us of all iniquity and sin all right so number nine comes from mark 5 34 and he said unto her daughter thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and be whole of your plague so here we are seeing Jesus talk to the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. And here we see the importance of faith. The Bible says without faith is impossible to please God. So we have to see how faith um, just naturally and supernaturally leads to our own healing. So our faith, shalom, has made us whole. All right, so number eight, Acts 4.30. By stretching forth thine hands to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. So here we see that the importance of the name of Jesus to break every um, stronghold and by his name and his finished work are we receiving of his healing. All right. Next, number seven, James 5, 15. And the power of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Um, here it says that if you confess your faults one to another, your sins will be forgiven. You shall be healed. So there is actually a correlation between um, forgiveness and healing. So know that you are forgiven. His grace and mercies are new every day. Next one, number six, Matthew 10 eight it says heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out demon um, devils <laughs> freely you have received freely give so when it comes to healing god is not um, withholding when it comes to us but he has endowed us with the holy spirit to have dominion over demons all right exodus um 10 26 right it says and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do what um, that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that hath healed. So right there, there is actually healing and keeping the word of God, but also reading of the scripture. So maybe the blessing that you're looking for is actually in reading and studying and having the healing for yourself, all right? Then we're moving to 2 Chronicles 7, verses 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. So right there, it says that the Lord will hear us when we pray as we turn from our wicked ways and repent. All right. Next one. Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So we can see that if you receive like a very uh, unfortunate diagnosis, your subconscious will become disheartened and then your body will begin to align with what you think in heart. 
but as you just continue on and know the power of a cheerful spirit, you'll see that your body will begin to line as well. Next one, Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. So you can actually affirm yourself by praying, speaking proclamations, and just decreeing and prophesying over your own um, situation like the Bible instructs. And then number one, Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So the Lord in his promises just declares like, hey, there is healing for us and that he uh, will send his word and his promises are yes and amen. So if he's telling his disciples and followers of Jesus Christ to, hey, go cast out demons, go um, heal the sick, then we can trust that his finished work on the cross, um, his decree um, will defeat every um, demonic principality, any um, spiritual um, stronghold in body and anything that is afflicting us that as we just repent, um, have faith, the Lord will um, do the work because he has already finished the work and all we have to do is um, step in it. Definitely, I'm not saying it's as simple as that, but we have to know um, the type of resurrection power that lives in us and even a bonus scripture, uh, maybe a star in number 11, it says that um, this kind does not come out but by prayer and fasting. So sometimes um, we're dealing with an affliction that is not just a regular affliction or I would say a entry level demon, but it may be um, something that is more, um, it just, we just need to have more action in aligning with his will. And maybe we just need to do some more steps. But healing is never um, strictly on us. So if you haven't received your healing, you, know, you don't have to um, have like self-doubt or pity of like, oh, I don't have enough faith because um, we don't have any power within ourselves. It's all the finished work in the blood of Jesus Christ um, that we are trusting in. So the manifestation of the healing or the, um, the fullness of the healing is his will, his timing, but when it comes to what we are able to do naturally within ourselves, we can definitely um, prophesy, proclaim the word, declare, and also read his scriptures because there are healings in his word as well. And then um, just naturally align ourselves as well when it comes to the New Testament talking about uh, physical exercise profits a little. So there is um, some things when it comes to our personal health that may be done with our activity or inactivity or our eating habits, while other things are just supernatural in nature and can just be seen in the word, just um, so maybe sin, we're opening up ourselves to sin, or maybe there's just um, God getting glory. And just like the blind man um, in the Bible was like, hey, why was he born blind? And it says, oh, for the glory of God, Jesus heals a blind man. And what do you see? God getting glory. So sometimes um, God is getting glory out of giving healing to his people. All right. So, hey, um, thanks for watching. If this video has been helpful um, to you, make sure to subscribe um, to the channel because we will be covering more verses in the Bible, um, not just on healing, but a um, great topical um, content. So make sure to check out the Meat Not Milk podcast on all podcast listening um, platforms like Spotify, iTunes, and everywhere else Pandora that you can listen to. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and come back next week where we are covering another topical Bible study. And make sure if this video has been helpful to you, leave a comment, um, leave a review on the podcast, and also make sure to support monetarily <laughs> sewing a gift into the ministry on Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you next week.